Hagia Sophia, which is being called the eighth wonder of the world, is one of the most prominent monuments from the perspective of architecture and art history in the world. It was built on the order of Emperor Justinian I in the year 537 by two prominent architects of the time, Anthemios from Aden and Isidoros from Balat. The structure, which had been a church for 916 years, was converted into a mosque once Fatih Sultan Mehmed had conquered Istanbul in 1453 and was used as a mosque for 482 years. With the additions made during the Ottoman era, it had become a social complex and went under various renovation and reinforcement works. Together with Atatürk's order and the decision of the ministerial cabinet, Hagia Sophia was opened as a museum in the year 1935. The museum, which also offers audio guidance services, is open for visitations every day of the week except on Mondays. From an architectural perspective, Hagia Sophia consists of a grand central space called a middle nave, with lateral naves to its north and south, as well as an apse located in its east and both interior and exterior narthexes where the doors are located on the west side. Hagia Sophia, which has a surface area of 7,500 square meters, is a double-story structure. Entrance into the structure is through the west side, where the doors to the courtyard are located. The first gallery entered through the main door is called the exterior narthex. On the wall to the right side of the main entrance door of the exterior narthex is where the Tura of Sultan Abdul Majid is located. Entrance into the second gallery called the interior narthex is possible by passing through five doors. Exit to the outside is possible from the door located on the south side of the interior narthex if one does not want to visit the second floor. The Sunul mosaic, which is one of the most important figural mosaics of Hagia Sophia, is located above the vestibule door. There are nine doors opening out to the main hall from the interior narthex. The main door located in the middle, which opens to the main hall, was only used by the emperors and thus it was called the Emperor Door. The mosaic of Leon VI is located above the door. The main space of Hagia Sophia has been divided by degrees and columns and three naves located in the middle, the south and the north. In the middle of the central nave is the main dome which has been placed on four exalters and passage is enabled through pendants. The most prominent reform of the architecture of Hagia Sophia is the size and height of the dome covering the middle area. Kazasker Mustafa Izzet Efendi, who was one of the prominent calligraphers of the time, had written the 35th verse of Chapter Noor of the Holy Quran on the main dome. There are four angel figures depicted on the pendants that are unlike each other. The great round calligraphy panels hanging on the walls of the main area had been written by Kazasker Mustafa Izzet Efendi. These calligraphy panels are known to be the largest calligraphy panels in the Islamic world. On the wall above the double column rows which forms the north side of the middle nave are the mosaics of the patriarchs 
of the Orthodox Church. The two pieces of cubes made of monolithic marbles located next to the interior narthex of the middle nave belong to the Hellenistic period covering the period of 330 and 30 BC and had been brought from the ancient city of Bergama. There is a column with a hole in the middle covered by bronze plates at the northern nave which was also named the Perspirating Column or the Wishing Column. One of the most significant Ottoman extensions to the structure in the south nave is the library of Sultan Mahmud I. One of the most important Ottoman additions to the building are the tiles used in the library, which are the most beautiful samples of Iznik, Kutahya and Tekfur workshops produced between the 16th and 18th centuries. There is a Viking scripture on the marble railings in the middle of the South Gallery. The Muazzin Loge can be seen when passing through to the apse located next to the Mihrab, which is placed at the end of the eastern part of the building, at the South Nave. Pales that are striking surround the square area next to the Muezzin Loge. This area during the East Roman period was a location where the emperors were crowned during ceremonies. It is the Omphalion which is considered to be the center of the world by the Byzantinians and means the belly of the ground in Greek. The Mimbar which is located to the right side of the apse belongs to the era of Murad III and is one of the most beautiful samples of 16th century marble craftsmanship of the Ottoman period. The Sultan's Loge, which is located on the left side of the apse, was added to the structure during Sultan Abdul Majid's ruling when restorations were undertaken between 1847 and 1849. The top part of the apse is where the Virgin Mary mosaic holding baby Jesus is located. This mosaic was made in Hagia Sophia after the iconoclasm period and is significant as it is the first figurative illustration. The mihrab of Hagia Sophia, which had been renewed during the 19th century, has been made from marble. The chandeliers placed on both sides of the mihrab were brought from the palace church of the Hungarian King Matthias I by Suleiman the Magnificent during his Macedonia military expedition. There are calligraphic paintings belonging to the Ottoman sultans Mahmud II, Ahmed III and Mustafa II on the right wall of the mihrab, while on the left wall there are various calligraphy panels prepared by the most prominent calligraphers of the time. Behind the mihrab, the Ayat al-Kursi, the 255th verse of chapter Bakara, has been written in Jalithulus, calligraphic style, over cobalt blue tiles on a wall-to-wall -wall band. On the left side of the mihrab, there is a plantal design tile panel while there are two tile panels depicting the Kaaba and the Prophet Muhammad's tomb on the left side. Access to the top floor is possible through a door located on the east side of the interior narthex on the ground floor. The mosaic panel illustrating the deceased stage, which is considered to be the starting point of the Renaissance of East Roman art is located on the top south nave. On a different mosaic panel are the illustrations of Emperor Constantine IX, Monomachos and Empress Zoe. The mosaic of Emperor Alexander is located on the wall of the north top nave. The walls of Hagia Sophia face the risk of outward thrusts 
both in East Roman and Ottoman periods, because of the weight of its dome. It was the East Romans, then the Ottomans, who had built external buttresses and prevented the pressure of the dome. There are 24 buttresses in Hagia Sophia. When the brick minaret on the southeast side is analysed from a perspective of style, it can be dated back to either the era of Fatih Sultan Mehmed or Bayezid II. The minaret on the side of the imperial gate is thought to have been built by Mimar Sinan during Selim II's era, as it is very similar to the minarets of Selimiye Mosque in Edirne. As for the identical minarets located on the southwest and northwest sides, they had been built by Mimar Sinan during the era of Sultan Murad III. The tombs of the Ottoman Sultans are located on the southeast of Hagia Sophia. The interior of the tomb of Sultan Selim II has been ornamented with the most beautiful tiles of the 16th century. The interior of the tomb of Sultan Murad III has been adorned with 16th century Iznik tiles. The Coraline coloured tiles are important due to being produced only in the Iznik tile workshops by a single generation during the Ottoman era, and the secret behind the making of these tiles have never been found. The interior of the tomb of Sultan Mehmed III has been ornamented with Iznik tiles dated to the beginning of the 17th century. Apart from the tombs of the Sultans, the tombs of the princes which belong to Sultan Murad III are also located here. Which had been built in 1853 during the era of Sultan Abdul Majid is one of the most beautiful and striking samples amongst the Muwakkitanes. The structure is currently being used as the museum office. There are two public fountains that are a part of Hagia Sophia. One of these is located on the right side once exited from the vestibule door to the courtyard and is covered with marble. The second public fountain which reflects a classic Ottoman public fountain architecture, was built on the order of Sultan Ibrahim at the southeastern corner of the wall of the external courtyard. The public fountain, which has three windows, is made of engraved marbles. The Hagia Sophia fountain, built by Sultan Mahmud I in 1740, is a masterpiece of Ottoman architecture and is one of the largest and most beautiful fountains in Istanbul. A dome covers it and there is an eave mounted on eight columns with stalactite headings and eight arches. The elementary school, which is located in the southwest courtyard of Hagia Sophia, had been built under order of Sultan Mahmud I in 1740. The elementary school had been transformed into the Hagia Sophia Research and Documentation Unit and Photography and Exhibition Hall of Elementary Schools in December 2010, following maintenance and arrangements. The Hagia Sophia Almshouse was a charity built by Sultan Mahmud I in 1743 to the northeast of Hagia Sophia for the distribution of food for the poor and the needy. The door of the Alms House, overlooking the side of the Imperial Gate, is one of the most beautiful samples of the Baroque style in Istanbul. <laughs>